are you a feminist? Is feminist defined as killing babies and all the rest of it, but... Political and... That is the definition of feminist. Well, that's... If you use that definition, does that include killing babies or no? That's a separate issue. Well, it's sort of... The definition you gave me is vague because you actually have to break down what those terms mean to you, right? So I believe in... Of course I believe women should vote. Of course I believe that women should be able to hold any job they want. I grew up in a house actually where my dad was at home and my mom worked. My wife is a doctor, right? And she took off a year to have our baby, so she's having it all, which is great. And so, you know, in that sense, I certainly consider myself a feminist. I believe that women should be able to make whatever life decisions they see fit. That doesn't mean all life decisions are equally good, but men should make decisions they see fit, and if those decisions are bad, live with them. The problem I have with the feminist movement is twofold. One, they've decided that female equality means also that biology no longer exists, meaning that if men don't have to have babies, women also don't have to have babies even if they get pregnant, so I get to kill this thing, or I get to randomly decide it's not a human. That I find offensive. And then the other thing that the feminist movement has done, and this is where I think the feminist movement went wrong, is they made the correct, the absolutely correct point in the 50s and 60s, men act like pigs. Men act like pigs, they're mean to women, they don't allow women into the workplace, all of this is bad. Women should be able to have all these opportunities that men have. Based on merit, not based on lowering standards, based on merit. And then the feminist movement went further. They said men act like pigs, therefore, instead of calling on men to stop acting like pigs, let's all act like pigs. This will be the new standard. The new standard will be not that men should stick around and be responsible for the women with whom they have children. The standard should be that women don't need men. A woman doesn't need a man like a fish and doesn't need a bicycle. Right? Except it turns out that women actually do need men and men need women. It turns out that we all need each other in a certain way and when it comes to marriage and raising children, you certainly need your partner. You certainly need your partner. This is the problem I have with feminism. So the basic principle, of course I agree with. It's that the feminist movement as it has been iterated and as it has changed over time has become more and more radical to the point where they want separate standards for men and women, which is precisely the reverse of equality. They want, they want standards lowered for women in particular areas, which is precisely the reverse of equality. They want to say that they have extra moral authority to decide whether a human being is a human being or not just because you're a woman, which I find utterly offensive. You know, so they, so am, I, am I traditionally, again, according to your definition, absolutely I am a feminist. According to the feminists, no, I'm not a feminist because I don't believe in a lot of the evil things they're pushing.